for another new video. I have missed you guys. I haven't talked to you guys in so long. And I apologize for that. It's just been a hectic couple of weeks trying to get into my routine of like summertime and filming and the whole night. But I am back at it again with another makeup tutorial for you guys. I absolutely love this look. It's great. It's beautiful. Um, it is just like a pop of color on the lower lash line. A super like neutral glittery lid and I absolutely love it. Then this is perfect for summer because you kind of don't want to wear too much color especially if you're a neutral girl like me. So I think this is the perfect balance of adding a little bit of color to your regular look and just gradually graduating into color. If you guys like this tutorial, definitely let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel if you're not already. Make sure to hit that notification bell. It uploads, it uploads, it notifies you every time I upload a new video so you won't miss out and you can join the fam. I really hope that you guys enjoy this look and I think that's all I have to say. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. Getting started, we're going to go ahead and take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just going to use this to prime my eyes today. I really like this concealer because it's not too tacky but it goes on and it um, blends out any of the lines or you know redness or blue tones on your eyes. I really love it as a primer and I'm just going to set that with that Wet n Wild powder. You will be seeing this a lot throughout this video but I just like to use face powder to set my eyeshadow I mean my eye primer because it just works a little bit better for me personally but it's totally up to you. You can use like a nice eyeshadow if that's what you like. Now going into the eyeshadow look I'm going to be taking Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette this is my favorite palette honestly it is just so so good and I'm just blending that into my crease with a Morphe blending brush just making sure that um, everything is nice and blended and blown out because you don't want this look to be harsh at all so I'm just blending that on both eyes until I get the opacity that I want you can do this really light or really dark and vampy if you, you choose to do so now just going into the shade Cypress Ember from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette again. And I'm just going to carve out an outer V. I am definitely just doing this a little bit harsh and then making sure to blend it blend it out. I want to make sure that this is kind of like the focus of the look. Because we will be taking a shimmery shade and putting it on the lid. But I really wanted this look to be defined and very winged out and kind of like sexy and romantic. So I'm definitely taking that color on a pencil brush and just making sure to precisely blend it out. And I'm going to take a blending brush afterwards to blend out all of the harsh lines. Because you don't want this look to be harsh. You definitely want it to, to be defined but not harsh. So once I'm done doing that, I'm going to take the shade Primavera from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance and I'm just going to spray my brush. These shades are super buttery even without um, spraying them or dampening them with your brush. If you don't have a setting spray or anything, you can definitely use eye drops. It works just as good. And then I'm just placing that on my eye um, all over the lid where we didn't put like the darker shadow or anything. So I love this look by itself and if you just wanted to put like a dark liner um, with eyeshadow on the bottom, this is like my go-to smoky eye. If you guys want a tutorial on that look, definitely let me know down below and I can do that for you as well. But I'm just blending this on my lid and then once I finish putting on that shimmery shade, I'm just going back in with the Cypress Ember shade to make sure that I am blending it and there's no lines or anything like that and making sure that everything is super blended and I am just deepening up that outer V a little bit because I want it to stand out just a little bit more making sure that I'm blending everything together with that um, first shade that we put on the eye as well. 
Now I'm just going ahead and putting on these Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes. And I can't put on lashes on camera for some reason. So I just went ahead and did that off camera. And then I went ahead and put the Hard Candy Sheer MV Shine Free Primer on my face. I just love this primer, guys. I can't get rid of it. I use it in almost every tutorial. I am so sorry, but it's so good. And now I'm just taking the CoverGirl Violet Healthy Elixir Foundation. You guys know if you watched my review of this foundation that I absolutely love love it it is so so good especially for summertime because it does leave you dewy but not super dewy and I have oily skin guys and this stays put on my face all day so I'm just blending that out with my L'Oreal sponge it takes a long time to blend out though guys I do have to say maybe I just used too much today but I felt like I was blending for like 85 years so just a warning <laughs> and then once I'm done blending that out I'm going to go ahead and take the same fit me concealer that we used as eye primer and put that under my eye down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow I definitely wanted this look to be pretty highlighted, so it looks like I'm applying a lot, but it really isn't that much. I'm just applying it under my eyes. Um, I do have pretty bad dark circles, so I am just trying to conceal those as well as highlight my face. So that is why it's a little bit much today. My dark circles have been popping up, your girl. These are not designers. So <laughs> I'm just putting on some um, concealer, and you can see that I'm using it to highlight as well. It's not just to conceal, it's to highlight as well. And then I'm going ahead and taking my L'Oreal sponge once again with the pointed side and just blending it out. It looks like I'm being pretty rough, but I promise I'm not. I'm also using this concealer to kind of carve out the edge of my eyeshadow and sharpen it up just a little bit I didn't get too messy with it because I did carve out that V I wasn't just blending it crazy so um, that's a really great way to sharpen up your eyeshadow if you don't want to use tape or any of the um, you know like eyeshadow shields or anything you could just use your concealer and it'll sharpen up the edge of your eyeshadow just as well Now I'm just going ahead and setting that with the same powder that we used to set our eye primer. And it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Powder. I love this powder, especially for under the eyes. It just looks so natural and just so like... I don't know, like almost airbrushed. It's so amazing. I love this powder. And I set my powder going in towards my eyes so that I don't set any of the creases. So I just go ahead and do that and set like kind of like my nose area, like right underneath my eyes and my nose. And then I go ahead and take a stippling brush and go ahead and set the rest of my face because this um, foundation does leave you a little bit dewy and because it is so hot outside here in New York I definitely had to set this face down girl because we don't want it to be going anywhere our hard work all for nothing I don't think so so I'm just going ahead and lightly setting my face then I'm going ahead with my NYX matte bronzer of course if you guys watch my videos you know I'm obsessed with this bronzer I need to buy another one but I don't know what to buy guys can you give me some suggestions down below of a new bronzer to pick up because I think I need one. So I'm just going ahead and carving out my cheekbones because you know I have some a puffy face right now. So I'm just carving out my cheekbones and then putting it on my forehead and my jawline as well. I did do, I did do a little bit of nose contouring as well, but I didn't include that because I'm not very good at it and I don't want to show you guys something and like it not turn out well. So, I'm working on my nose contour, guys. I'm working on it. Hopefully there will be a video soon, but I'm just blending this on my forehead, trying not to get a bronzer helmet, but you know, it always happens to me. So I'm going ahead then and taking this Rimmel Scandalized Eye Coal in this color black, and I'm just placing that on my lower lash line so that I can blend the beautiful blue eyeshadow from uh, L'Oreal on the lower lash line and just make it really smoky and really, really cute. So I'm just applying this, and this like does not move, guys. It does not come off. <laughs> So I'm just going ahead and taking this L'Oreal eyeshadow in Grand Blue and blending that on my lower lash line. I'm just using blue. You guys could use whatever color you want. Um, this is really versatile. And you can, because the top lid is so neutral, you can honestly do whatever color you want down here. You could do purple, orange, yellow, green would be beautiful. It is totally up to you guys, but I absolutely love the blue with brown eyes. I think it really makes them pop. So that's what I did today, and I love these L'Oreal eyeshadows. The little singles, if you guys can pick them up, 
definitely suggest that you do so. And now I'm just taking this um, Lorac highlighter in the shade Twilight and using that to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. I'm as actually also going to take this um, on my cheekbones and my cupid's bow and everything. I love highlighting my inner corner with the same highlight I use on my face. I think it just really brings the whole look together. Now I'm just taking my e.l.f. blush palette and I'm taking those two shades that you saw before and just blending that on my cheeks. I love this blush palette and I've been using my Maybelline one for so long for the past couple of months. I forgot how much this is just so beautiful and how easily it blends out. So once again, like I said, I'm taking that same Lorac highlighter and putting that on my cheekbones with a fan brush on the um, bridge of my nose. You guys can see this highlight is just beautiful. It doesn't emphasize your texture or your pores. It is so like just like a nice glow. Like you guys can see on my nose. Like look at that highlight. Ugh, it just it just makes me sick. It just I just love it. So now I'm just going ahead and taking the wet and wild lip liner in the shade bare to comment and just lining my lips. I fill in my bottom lip because I find my bottom lip um tends to lose product faster. I don't fill in my top lip because I don't think it really matters. But I'm just going ahead and doing that. This was a little bit too pink for the lip stick that I ended up using but it's all right it was what was near me I didn't feel like getting up so <laughs> this is what happened to work so then I'm just going ahead and lining my topper top topper lip my top lip and I overdrew my lips just a little bit because I think I'm Kylie Jenner like all the time just kidding so I'm going ahead and taking the NYX um lip what is it I forgot what it's called it'll be linked down below but it is in the shade sandstorm and I'm just lining my upper lip and making sure that I cover up the lip liner because like I said it doesn't really match but that's okay and I'm just making sure to blend those together and I think a nude lip with this look really brings out the pop of color on the eye because I didn't want the lip to bring too much attention because the whole look is about that pop of color, girl. So I'm going ahead and blending that on my lips. And then to set my face, I'm taking the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And just spraying that and locking everything in. So once you do that, you are done with this look, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you did, definitely let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel if you're not already. And yeah, guys, that is it for this video. And I will talk to you in my next one very soon. Love you, girls. Mwah.